obviously, last time we left Jet, we had a Volkswagen T5 and a little Pyrenees puppy along with Corda. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Canines and Camper Vans. If you haven't been here before, I'm Andy, this is Emily and the dogs are down there. Obviously we haven't posted for a while due to COVID-19 and whatnot. It's obviously been a stressful time for everyone and we haven't been able to get away anyway so we've just taken every day as it comes. Obviously last time we left Jet we had a Volkswagen T5 and a little Pyrenees puppy along with Corda. Everest has grew a little bit. Just a little. So we'll show you him in a minute. And obviously the backdrop around us has changed quite a bit as well. So during lockdown, most people decorate the gardens. Most people paint the houses. We've bought a bigger camper van and tarted it up a little bit. Yeah, so here's what we've bought. <laughs> outside of here obviously the standard cab for a Volkswagen crafter this is actually a seat but this folds up into a a nice little tray so we put that there because Everest is bopping his nose on the gear stick behind the driver's seat we actually have a shower and obviously this is the shower curtain goes around and whatnot. This thing right here is a seat that fits snugly into the shower base but split that in half and it actually houses the toilet as well. We've got the sink obviously, some spare cutlery plastic until we replace them all with bamboo because I think that's the way we're going to go now. We've got lights there in the kitchen area. It's a mess at the minute. We're just trying to find out what we need and what we don't for actually camping. The dogs have got a little bit underneath there, which on lights we can. Oh, if I turn them on, I'll turn the main lights off, which is also on remote. So I'll turn the main lights off and we'll make them a bit brighter. Yeah. Just a little nice feature. Anyway, turn them off. Oh. And turn the lights back on. These are actually pretty neat as well. Because you can drop down 50%, 25%. Have a dim down. We haven't got any um, plug sockets or anything yet. That's the 12 volt sockets. But we have got a, an inverter under there which we've never had one before so they're quite nice 
and last not to, oh yeah we've got a light up there touch light which is pretty cool and then last but not least we have a king size bed which is phenomenal considering she's a midget anyway I can actually stand up in the van for once and lay down in bed for once without my feet hanging over so it's ideal not that you can see now there like but yeah that's pretty much it if anyone wants a actual van tour properly to go in depth about everything we'll be happy to do that if you want to just let us know in the comments so while the boys are eating their breakfast we thought we'd have a go as well but we might have made a mistake because if you look over there there's a burger van could have been far easier yeah so the reason we've moved is we were getting sorted getting the dogs ready and that and um like i say there was a few cars that passed us but we weren't doing anything wrong we weren't blocking any gates we weren't harming anyone we didn't leave any mess we didn't make too much noise nothing um but there was dog walkers going so and one did stop walk the dogs and whatnot and went and then this morning, I don't really know what time it was, because we were getting sorted, we weren't asleep luckily, but a car come, turned round, and as it, as it was leaving, just continuously beeped, like, I'm assuming to wake us up, which, to be fair, is not very nice, is it? And we're not doing anything wrong, well we thought we weren't, and we, we didn't mean to annoy anyone or hurt anyone. We were just having a little adventure with the dogs in the van, just for something, uh, something different to do. Um, yeah. Is it is it like this all over the UK? I've seen things on Facebook about people in Cornwall and stuff threatening to slash ties and stuff, but I didn't think it'd it'd be so bad up here. I mean, it's not like we've had actual problems. It's just, yeah, just put a damper on the. The experience really because we had such a lovely time and the bed i wish you could feel the bed because unbelievable slept like a baby mm -hmm. 